Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Akusia Benhene. If you're a tiny subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, what do you do? So in today's video, I am back with a get ready with me. I'm going to be creating this beautiful look that you guys see right here, okay? Um, we're all going to be creating it together. So grab your tools, okay? Grab your makeup stuff. And without further ado, my last please let's get into the video i'd love if you subscribe to the channel and become a member of the family you know i mean why not like why would you not subscribe <laughs> you know what i'm saying you should subscribe okay it, it will be good if you subscribe so i'd love for you to become a member of the family and also if you do love this video or if you do like this video please definitely give me a huge thumbs up it helps youtube to know which kind of contents that you like from me and it helps me to also know which kind of contents that you guys enjoy okay and i'd love for you to follow me on instagram all right follow me on instagram if i'm not here i'm on instagram creating content giving you guys beauty tutorials here and there okay so follow me on instagram and without further ado my last let's get right into the video skin prep is done uh, my face is nice and prepped so i don't have to think about that i'm always saying this you need to prep your skin okay skin prep goes a long way to making your makeup look nice and making your makeup last long all right so skin prep is key i do have a skin prep video in depth skin prep video for combination skin combination to oily skin um, i'm gonna link that up here and in the description box for you guys so you should definitely check it out um, but first i'm gonna go ahead and use my primer this is the ysl new blotting lotion i absolutely love this primer it is perfect for oily to combination skin all right okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys a lot closer as per usual okay we always do that just so that you guys get um like a perfect view of what the makeup looks like okay <laughs> next i'm gonna go in with my physician's formula butter buddies um this is their butter buddies banana powder i love to use this to set my primer because it's pretty much lightweight if you yeah i think it is um, it is lightweight. It doesn't do too much if you don't want it to so I just use a brush and then I likely set my primer Next I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my foundation um, for foundation today. I want to pair these two I've never done it, but Maybelline Maybelline. This is their tinted moisturizer. I have um, a full review of this bad boy here, so I will link her down below as well um, so you should check that out and then obviously you guys already know this girl. She needs no introduction. Okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and just pair this and see what coverage we get. So um, I Love both. I love Maybelline. I just want to know like together What is it gonna give so let's see so I went ahead and mixed it up on a palette because I don't want to mix it directly on my face and then um, No, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that I hope I'm hoping that it turns out good. That's that's not bad. The shade match looks good. I like it. I love that. Do you guys see that? You see the glow that it has? It gives you the hydration from the tinted moisturizer and then the coverage from um, the Fit Me, the one that I use every time. Let me just let you guys know that the sun keeps going in and out and because it's summer i'm using a lot more of the sun i'm not gonna lie i have my lights on but the way i'm positioned the sun will have an effect if it goes in and out so just so you know if it does that ignore it all right okay next i'm gonna go in with some concealer i am gonna go ahead and pair these two my everyday concealer which happens to be the maybelline fit me um this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 55 Hazelnut. And then um, I'm gonna add the L'Oreal Infallible Kfue Concealer. I'll put this over this one.
Next, I'm gonna go ahead and cream contour with this e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Concealer in Rich Ebony. This is not deep enough for um, my contour. For some reason, I think I threw away my the Juvia's Place contour that you guys always see. I think I threw it away. I just got tired because it was just filling the whole time. So I, I threw it away. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use that contour. It's not bad. <laughs> you know, it's like when you say something about or you say something about something even before you try it, and then when you try it, you're like, mm, mm, maybe that's because I haven't tried it in a long time. So I kind of, I kind of forgot it. Like I kind of forgot, but it's not bad. It, it honestly isn't bad. It's just not as deep. As I would have preferred um, but it's gonna work can you tell how pretty my skin looks like look at my skin oh my goodness wow chocolate girl chocolate girl chocolate girl chocolate girl <laughs> next I'm gonna go in with my um, setting powder for my highlighted areas I'm gonna first use my brush to set you want to look all the way up and then just press that in, press that in, in. <laughs> and you want to focus, I mean depending on how you place your concealer, you want to focus um, more on your under eye because that area tends to crease a lot more, so you want to focus on that area. This powder is always so pretty, like it's always just your vibes okay and then next I'm gonna go in with my cheek heat this is my cream blush from Maybelline so I told you guys that if you use your finger to apply this it turns to um, like give you way more product than you need but you could be very light-handed okay tap 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 over here and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and then just like go over that like that and I'm placing it right in between the contour and the um, under eye concealer that I used so you want to place it right in between just so it's like in three layers there's contour there's blush and then there's that one okay And also when you're using your finger, you want to be careful because um, you don't want to take away the makeup product that you put there because it's liquid and you put powder. So if you're going to do it in this like step, then you don't want to overdo it with your finger because you definitely take away the product, which will leave like an empty spot, which will be weird. So you don't want to do it. Okay. So I'm never going over my contour and I'm never going too close to my under eye concealer. I'm staying right in the center and then dragging it up because I like to sort of use my blush to warm up my um, the parameters of my face. I like a good like blush, you know, like when I smile, you need to see it. <laughs> like, you need to see it. Like you guys know that with me when it comes to makeup you need to see the makeup like <laughs> i have my you know clean girl makeup days but girl need to see the makeup next i'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows i will do that off camera and come back and then we can do the eye together because i kind of want to create a banger with you guys okay i want to create a really um cute eye look you guys have already seen the eye look yeah i'll be doing that so give me one second let me do my eyes and then i'll my, my brows and then i'll come back and then we'll do the eye okay brows are done um next i'm gonna go ahead and set my contoured areas i like to do my brows before i do that
for primer, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline. My eye area is super oily. And this just like keeps that in check. I'm not even gonna lie. My makeup, eye makeup stays on pretty much all day. No creasing, no problem whatsoever. No oils, nothing. Today for palette, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette. This is the Alex Metal Rose eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. This is a dark brown shade. It doesn't look as like brown, but it, it has pigment, and that's one thing I like about this palette. It's amazing pigment. Okay, as my crease color, I'll just place that right here. She's not going nowhere. <laughs> You guys see that pigment? It's insane, right? And I always like to drag my crease color all the way to like the corner just so that it builds some depth. And I'm always saying this with your eyeshadow, you want to build pigment, okay? No eyeshadow, I mean there might be um, a few eyeshadow palettes here and there that are not like of good quality pigment but really if you get a good brand build on the pigment build on the eyeshadow um, color that you want you don't want to just do like one brush application and you think that's it and then you think that it, it, the color doesn't look as bright no you want to keep building on the color that you want and eventually it's going to give you a nice rich tone okay so a very good example is this brown shade right off the bat it doesn't look this like deep and this rich but as i keep on building and as i keep on like applying and just building on that color it gives you a nice rich shade see because my eye is in like this shape i have like a cut eye shape i like to like drag my eyeshadow especially the crease color and like the outer V color, I like to like drag it in this direction. That way, it just like gives me that lifted look. And also because that's my um, eye shape, it just sort of accentuates the look. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pick my Violet Voss palette. I need a dark shade, and Bobbi Brown for some reason didn't give us black. <laughs> so I'll just take the black shade that I have in here, and I'm just gonna use that to sort of. Um, give me a smoky look but then also sort of give me a much darker brown you know i don't want to do too much but i also definitely want you to see like that combo so i'm just gonna go over the brown i'm just gonna go back into the brown and then just, just a little bit of that and then just place it again over the black because like i told you guys i am trying to get like a dark chocolate five so it will give you dark but it's not giving you black you know you do definitely see that it has like hints of brown to it so um my phone my phone is ringing so i'm gonna go into this shade right here where is she she's right here this shade right here um it's just a I don't know when I put it on you guys will see I honestly can't tell exactly what shade it is it's just a beautiful shade I tried it the other time and then I'm like you know what <laughs> you know what let me actually use this because she looks pretty I'm not gonna cut my crease I'm just gonna go ahead and take um, a small flat brush like so and I'll just use that to carefully place the color as though I have cut my crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with um, the dark brown shade that I used. I'm gonna use that to just sort of clean out the shimmer shade and then also merge the shimmer shade into the outer V shade. love that 
because I want to get more of a chocolate smoky eye look, I'm going to go into the black shade again and just like tap tap that over this area. And just like blend that in. Just, you know, to bring that deepness back. Um, so the eye area is pretty much done. I just need to top up my lash, which I would do at the end of my look. Okay, so next is going to be my highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild Color Corn Highlighter. They say it's a bronzer, but I don't know. I don't know. how that's a, It's like too highlighting for bronzing. Matter of fact, in the past, bronzers were highlighters. So... Um, in the past, if somebody said I wanted a bronzer, that meant I wanted some highlighting, you know? But now, I feel like bronzers have changed. <laughs> now, when people say I'm putting on a bronzer, it's like, where is the highlighting? Like, where is the glow? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna put the highlighter here. Right here. And then next I'm gonna go in with my powder. This is my um, this is my Maybelline Superstay. You guys already know this girl, like <laughs> at this point. I probably don't even have to show you again. And then I'm going in with my Evita Joseph brush, powder brush, all over powder brush. Amazing stuff. Okay. And I always like to build coverage in the lower parts of my face with my powder because this is actually a powder foundation. Um, and then when I get to the center part of my face, I don't do too much. I don't talk much. I just show action. <laughs> we have the lashes in place. Okay. These lashes are my all time favorite. Next, I'm gonna go in with my lip. These lashes are Kiss, by the way. This is the Kiss Matte Lash. Um, I'll link them down below. I don't have the casing because I threw it away. Um, but I'll link them down below for you guys. They're really nice, full coverage, but they don't feel heavy. They don't feel like you have an umbrella over your eye. I'm always saying that. Key. <laughs> Two favorite summer babes. Okay, this is... Um, these two girls are the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is in the shade Topaz and Stone. I just put that in the center. And with gloss, you want to do what? Now I feel like you guys know. With gloss, you want to do what? You want to layer. So this is two layers of stone, okay? This is just stone by itself. It's a pretty shade. We love her. But Topaz is the girl, okay? Topaz is the girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and go right with Topaz. It's insane how my skin and this makeup turned out looking. I literally don't know how to act. Wow, you know, largely, very, very largely, my skin plays um, a large role as to like why my makeup turned out like that. Um, but guys, this is the finished look, okay? This is the beautiful <laughs> chocolate, okay? Beautiful chocolate brown girl. Um, eyeshadow look that I wanted to bring you guys this is literally the look it's done it looks so beautiful so my jewelry my earrings they're so cute they're from Shein I will link them for you guys um, in the description my outfit is from Shein too okay she's a really cute number like that's what she looks like there's just a full dress it's just like a dress, but it's really cute, okay? And then the earrings is giving, you know, 
so that's also nice so I'll link them for you guys okay I have a Shein haul coming up for you guys so relax just relax okay but this is the finished look I absolutely love me a good layered gloss okay I'm always saying this if you want your makeup to turn out looking not your makeup your lip gloss if you want your lip gloss to turn out looking like a rich luxury you know just like nice and just like that nice glossy look you want to layer them okay layer the gloss if you're using two glosses layer 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 and you're gonna get that nice okay <laughs> um, but that's the finished look I want you guys to comment down below let me know if you guys like the look you know if you like the vibe if you like everything that's going on okay comment below let me know and also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that I would love for you to become a member of the family the little family that we have here okay not so little little okay join the family become a member i would love for you to do that and also please follow me on instagram akosia behini on instagram if i'm not here i'm on instagram if i'm not creating content here i'm creating content on instagram okay <laughs> that's pretty much it for today's look i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs> bye guys bye you don't even know me like that are you past my time? Put you on my mind Come a little closer like that Staying up all night Throwing drinks back